Today, we're talking about Harry Potter. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Monica, this is Mini Reads, and this is where I talk about books and things. Today, I have a book chat video. Uh, again, if you don't know what my book chat series is, I actually made a playlist of my book chats, which is basically, this is an un unscripted series where I talk about bookish things that have been gnawing at my noggin and I basically just tell you what I think about them and why I think these things and that kind of stuff. So if you're into that, this is what this series is. Now, clearly, I don't dislike Harry Potter. I actually, disclaimer, I love it, I love it, we're already, we're already off to a good start. Um, I, it's not that I dislike Harry Potter, I actually really love the world building in Harry Potter. I appreciate that Harry Potter like Twilight and like The Hunger Games and like Divergent and all of these books were or are the reason why we have so many readers today when reading had fallen out of fashion. I don't hate on that. But here's the thing, I actually don't really like the Harry Potter books. There, I said it, I don't like them. I don't like them in characters. I think there's a lot of bullying that is justified in those books and I understand that they're from like a kid's perspective, but I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of hmm, questionable things in those books that meeting them as an adult, I don't appreciate them. But here's the thing, I read them as an adult while most people read these books as kids. So what happens is that these books represent like a really big momentous time for many people's lives. I know that for example for my husband this was the first time that he really got into reading with his family and this is such an important thing. I just realized I should have painted my nails green for this video so that I could go on with my like Slytherin aesthetic. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about the fact that we really need to stop comparing other books to Harry Potter because it's to the detriment of those books. Again, this was the first time most of us read a magical book. This was the first time that most of us actually sat down to read. And this was the first time for a lot of us that a book really captured us. There's a lot of nostalgia involved in that. There is so much nostalgia in that that saying this book is like Harry Potter but in space is gonna set that book up for failure because we when we tell people this book is like Harry Potter that stirs something in a lot of people it's like when I tell people this book is like Star Wars you know um, if somebody tells me this book is like Star Wars I'm expecting some shit from that book that is probably not going to be there because Star Wars represents so much more than just a movie for me. It represents time with my dad. It represents it represents the first time that I felt like I could be part of something bigger. It represents so much that the moment that somebody tells me this is like Star Wars, there is no way that book is going to live up to that. There is literally, there is no way. And I know that when we say this book is like this book, but with this mix or like this book is like this book, we're not trying to set people up for disliking books. On the contrary, we want them to read those books. But the thing is, there is so much that is, there's so much emotional baggage that comes with comparing books to Harry Potter that other books just don't get a chance. And another thing that happens is that when we compare books to Harry Potter, we have certain expectations. We expect magical schools, we also expect houses, we expect magical systems that are very easy to understand, we expect adventure, we expect murder mysteries, because actually, I don't know if you guys know that Harry Potter books are basically murder mystery books set in magical schools, but anyway, we expect all of this, and we also expect the whimsy that comes with Harry Potter. Now, a lot of books that I see recommended from like, it's like Harry Potter, but like this, don't have those elements. The, the thing that they are just kind of saying is, this book is based on a magical school. And let me tell you, Harry Potter is not the only book set in a magical school, okay? So when, when people recommend books that are like Harry Potter but blah blah blah, what they're really trying to say is this book has the idea of sorting people into houses because usually that's what it is, and magical schools. 
For example, I remember, I'm sorry my nose itches, I have a lot of allergies, but just ignore me. I remember when Divergent was new, a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, it's kind of like Harry Potter, but the topic. Dystopic? Dystopic? I don't know. Why? Because you had the idea of the separation into houses and stuff like that. Which, you know, yeah, but the rest of it was nothing like Harry Potter. So people came... I think Divergent did rather well because it did capitalize on that whole, like, sectioning off of people, which we really like for some reason. No, not for some reason. It's the same thing why we like horoscopes or the same thing why we like people whose initials are the same as ours and stuff like that because we like finding things in common with people. So I have here a couple of books that found themselves kind of fucked by the Harry Potter <laughs> comparison. Now the first one is Nevermore. I keep hearing that Nevermore is like, oh my god, it's like Harry Potter but if the, uh, like Harry Potter is actually a girl. And I have read Nevermore and I don't see it and I think that that's the reason why Nevermore is not more popular is because people keep expecting this to be like Harry Potter and then they read it and they're like this is not like Harry Potter and and then because you had it in your mind that this was going to be a Harry Potter-esque book just because there's a kid and m magic which is not at all like the magic in the book and there's no magical school even the cover I think even the cover does it because you got like the different colors and I think that this book on its own has so much merit but because we compare it to Harry Potter all the time not so many people are liking it because they're expecting Harry Potter when really this is not this is not Harry Potter-esque at all it's just and I've seen like to the stretch that we try to compare, we try to like compare characters and make connections and I'm like why can't we just enjoy this book on its own without comparing it to probably the most influential book of our time. That's not gonna do this book any justice and oh my god and we don't do this like I don't talk about I don't know like we don't do this with other books I don't I could easily compare for example Frankenstein and Phantom of the Opera I could say like well imagine like Phantom of the Opera is like Frankenstein but with a bit more romance and that would be technically correct but that would do both Phantom of the Opera and Frankenstein a huge disservice because you're gonna be expecting things that are just not there for either book and both of these books are amazing and it's not that one is better than the other that's not the point the point is that by making that comparison I am putting something into your head that says this book equates this book and you're going to feel the same way when you read this book that when you read this book and that is not that is not gonna happen at least I don't know I, it, it isn't and especially with books that we find favorites like wow like can you imagine if somebody could capture in a bottle what you felt when you read Harry Potter for the first time and put it in another book or another series they would do that all the time but we cannot capture that again I have two more two more examples of books that have been wrongly judged for the Harry Potter comparison. We have The Magicians by Lev Grossman which has been described many times like oh my god it's kind of like Harry Potter but for teenagers. This is definitely not a teenage book, this is definitely an adult book number one. Number two, yes there is a magical school here but that's where the comparisons end and there are technically like houses, not houses but like they separate into magic like types of magic like some people have physical magic and some people have mental magic and stuff like that but in this book it literally tells you that that means nothing like it means nothing to them and if you go into this thinking you're getting anything like Harry Potter you're gonna be sorely disappointed because Harry Potter is a kids book this is an adult book that is dark academia worthy and kind of like grungy and dirty and there are things in this book that are like there is no whimsy in this book all right this book is not whimsical this book the, the magical school here is not it's like half of the book is in the magical school the rest is just really really scary reality so yeah this book also gets compared to harry potter and i don't get it 
And then finally, we have a book that I love this year, and I feel that the Harry Potter and the the people that sold this book, like the publishers, compared Magic for Liars to Harry Potter. And of course, if you go into this book with that in mind, you're not gonna like this book because this book has got yeah, there's a there's a there's kids in it. Uh, but this is an adult book, and there is a there are magical schools, but they're based in the real world, and magic is it's nothing like Harry Potter. All that they were saying was that they were trying to capitalize on the idea that we like magical school books, and this one has a magical school in it. That's it. That's where the comparisons end. Like. There is nothing about her. There are no houses. There's no. There is no whimsy. And this is not like because I, I I heard it said. Oh my god, this is like murder, but like in Harry Potter. Fuck no. No 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 no. This book is again gruesome. There's a lot of questionable things in this book, but that I really like. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. And I feel that that, that the going into it thinking this is a Harry Potter esque book. Is going to make you not like the book. This is my plight to everyone to stop saying this is like Harry Potter because that keeps you from probably enjoying books like this that are not Harry Potter esque, but because they have that little thing that is Harry Potter esque, then we say, oh, this is like Harry Potter. And then when it's not, because first of all, even if it was, even if it was, it's never going to be that for you. It isn't. Nothing. Nothing is ever going to compare to that feeling you got when you read these books for the first time. So let's stop comparing books to Harry Potter, please. <laughs> At least I think we should. I don't know. Again, this is book chats. You're welcome to disagree with me. It's fine. That's what book chats is all about, is for us to talk about our feelings about books. So. Whatever you have to say, please leave it down below. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Just as a reminder, I post videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and sometimes I pepper in videos throughout the week and the weekend now, because, you know, that's just me. And my camera is flashing at me, so without anything else left to say, thank you for coming back to my channel. Thank you for watching these videos. It means the world to me, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys, and remember, Slytherin House is the best house.